My name is Doug Avery. I'm the chief engineer at Delta Sun Peaks Resort. I've been uh, at this property for approximately seven years. Uh, I live with my family uh, about 15 minutes down the road at Little Hefley Lake. The agricultural uh, programs that I'm most proud of, certainly working with one of my team members in the maintenance department um, on composting uh, with uh, two local pig farms. One we started off with, they were an organic farm, so the program was a little bit more st structured. Uh, the farm that we currently work with, the, they're non-organic, but uh, the pigs will essentially take anything that we can produce that's not a protein, so no meats, uh, no fishes or chickens. Uh, it is a seasonal program, although we're trying to expand it into the, uh, to the winter months, and we've diverted uh, literally tons of food out of our compactor from the local landfill uh, to, the, to the local ranchers, who in turn have saved a significant amount of money on their feed. Another program that we've worked with uh, local, uh, locally is our Farm to Fork program. We try to purchase locally whenever possible. That program has ebbed and flowed with different chefs in the hotel. Uh, some are, are very uh, focused on it, others certainly participate in it, but to, to different levels. What I've learned about engaging in these type of products um, really comes back to kind of who I am. Um, growing up, my, my father worked at BC Hydro, and if I was too hot, I was told to take my sweater off and I was too cold, put one on. So it's just kind of how I was brought up and certainly being um, one with the environment. I've always loved being in places that are like this and I want to make sure the legacy that I leave that is, it is more beautiful in a hundred years than what it is today. And The way we do that is certainly working with local ranchers, doing environmentally sustainable uh, projects, always looking for ways to, to save on energy, to use better energy, uh, to cl use cleaner energy. So. I think for me it's just given me a, a palette to, to paint what I believe in philosophically and I've worked with a great company who's given me a ton of freedom to do it and work with other people in the hotel to, to do it as well. What's needed for long-term success in programs like the composting um, is really having people who are passionate about it and having the powers that be supportive of it. Um, every project or both times when we, we came up with this idea, and it originally stemmed from one of my uh, uh, one of my maintenance uh, supervisors who grew up on a farm, is he had this crazy idea, but we never let it disappear. It was always kind of there until we could finally find a partner. Um, so we've got a product which is waste. To them, it's food. Um, so once we got those those two partner parties together, then it was a case of how do we logistically make it work. The logistics can bog you down. What we try to do is just keep it simple. Um, don't take no as an answer. Work with the people, educate the people. And each time it's worked very successfully. The second time around, we found a farmer whose needs were, were kind of broader than with the first uh, farm, which allowed this program from our side to be much more successful. Uh, but it's just not taking no for an answer. That's really what it comes down to.